Hey, what's up guys? I am back with another video and in this one I gotta head over to Motorville I seem to recall you telling us the mighty Mornstar was no more and yet somehow the boy managed to acquire it. Things don't seem to be going according to plan, do they, Shadar? What you say is true. I went to great lengths to destroy the wand, that the boy might never wield its power. But I could not have known he would travel through time to obtain it. That reminds me, Lord Garrus. You have used that spell. The one that binds past, present, and future. Surely not. Surely you did not meet with this savior in the house. <laughs> the very thought. What would I stand to gain from such a meeting? Perhaps the good lady forgets that it is a Shadar who has been charged with a boy's disposal. Your Excellencies, there is no cause for alarm. Everything is in hand, I assure you. I am the executor charged with bringing destruction to this world, and I fully intend to fulfill my duties. In any event, the wand he holds is incomplete. Without the power of the Three Stones, Mornstar is weak. Set against the might of our own wands, it is a mere toy. It seems you are quite the expert. They are lost, are they not? The stones from which Mornstar's magic powers sprang. Correct. The magic stones are lost, but the boy is searching for them now. Of that I have no doubt. And how are we to stop him finding them? When the Wizard King concealed them long ago, he entrusted their care to three fearsome guardians. I propose that we awaken the Keepers of the Stones from their slumber. Does this plan please you, your radiance? It does. Listen to me well, Shadar. The Keepers of the Stones shall henceforth answer to you. I am... honored. Use your new powers wisely. The Wizard King's most faithful servants are now. Radio, Ollie boy. We need to find Tengri soulmate, ain't it? Can you think of anyone who reminds you of a massive flying dragon? You mean, uh, somebody dragon-like? Come on, man. You know everyone in town, don't you? If you can't think who it might be, just ask around, ain't it? Oh, hi, Oliver. Hi Myrtle, long time no see. Has it been working for Miss Layla? I love it, and I'm getting better all the time. I know the names and prices of everything in the store now. Very impressive, young lady. Oh, I'm sweating, by the way. I don't really like to talk about it, but I've made it my business to protect these poor kids here. I'm what you might call the guardian. Hey, you know she can't hear you, don't it? You what? <laughs> People from the, this road can't see our heroes, silly. This girl is my soulmate, can you tell? Yeah, I suppose I can, now that you mention it. Yeah, man. They look just like each other, ain't it? They don't act the same, mine. Thank goodness for that. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Oliver, can you hear voices? Uh, no. I No, I can't hear them. Oh, huh, weird. They want to know what they call me around in town these days? People have started calling me the Dairy Fairy. It's a little embarrassing, but I kind of like it. Neato, that's so great, Myrtle. Can't believe how much things have changed for you. You mean now they don't call me Starry Mary anymore? Yeah, I guess things have changed. Ah, uh, haha. Oof, err. Uh oh. There's a mad dog on the loose. Strange, I feel like I know him from somewhere. Isn't he sweet, though? Um, no? Hey there. 
Can just are you are you on your own again, sweetie? Hey, this dog it's That's right, it's Denny's dog. You know Denny who lives next door to me. They're always out walking together. Well I guess you couldn't really call it walking as soon as school's out, the two of them go running off together all over town. But I haven't seen Denny lately. Even though you live next door? That's weird. It is, huh? I always know when he leaves the house, I hear him laughing or hollering at least. I did until recently. You mean he hasn't been going outside? Maybe, yeah. Maybe he's like I was. Crikey. You mean we've cured Starry Mary? We've got Glary Carey to deal with instead? Typical. Glary Carey. Mr. Mr. Drippy. What, man? I thought she couldn't flip and hear me. Grr, grr. What are you getting so worked up about? I think he wants to tell us something. Uh, Genghis? What could he want? Looks like another case for the heroic wizard who can talk to animals. Don't make fun of him, Oliver. I, I know we're supposed to be looking for Tangri's soulmate, but... Please, can we speak to Genghis? Sure, let's hear what he has to say. Just a second, Myrtle. I need to ask Genghis what's wrong. Oh, uh, sure. How, exactly? Oh, I mean... I mean... I need to see if he has any clues, you know, being Danny's pet and all. Shut up, man. You're making things making it worse. Hey, hey, you can always be you can be awfully strange sometimes, Oliver. Anyway, I have to open the store. I'll see you around, okay? There we go. Girl, why won't you listen to me? How many times do I have to tell you? My master, he's in trouble. Blimey, sounds serious. Urgh. Oh, you're listening now, are you? And you can see us. Sure I can, you're not exactly easy to miss. How come you suddenly started listening? Of course, you can see us because animals are all sensitive in that, ain't it? Oh, you were listening, dog face. We just couldn't understand till Ollie Boy cast a spell, ain't it? Urgh. Well, you seem so upset. We had to find a way of speaking to you. There's something you want to tell us, isn't there? Genja, sweetie? You're a sweetie? Oh, sorry, I meant Mr. Genja, sir. Ugh, stupid humans. Anyway, I'll tell you again. My master, Denny, he is the greatest athlete this town has ever seen. And I'm his best friend, the king of the dogs. You can, you can call me Genja. I could swear I know someone who talks just like you. I was thinking of just the same thing. In fact, doesn't Genja kind of look like somebody we know too? Spencer Genjus, Oliver. But yes, I had the same feeling. Who the flip could it be now? Kublai. How could we now spot it? Just look at his expression. Ha, huh, could it be old pirate face had on another body? Now I, I look at it properly. There's a sharp bite of you, Ollie boy. He talks just like him, too. Kinda rough. It's funny, huh? Over in your world, Kublai keeps dragons, but here... He's somebody's pet. Hey, don't you think? What man? Spit out. Tangry soul mate. Could it be Denny? What's make you say that? Does he look like a dragon or something? Oh, I get it. Kublai and Tangri are proper close, ain't it? So it makes sense. Genjus here would be close with Tangri's soul mate. Exactly. Oh, that wouldn't mean Kublai's pet. In our world, it's his master in this one. Don't switch a rule, eh? Classic stuff. You're a slap yet being listening to me, will you? Oh, sorry, Mr. Genja, sir. Are you listening now? Good. Until recently, my master and I spent all our time training. You did, huh? I used to see you running around town all the time. Well, of course you did. We were working for our dream. For our master's dream of making the state championships. You were helping him train? Girl, I just said that, didn't I? Anyway, he didn't make the same team. He didn't make the track team. Nobody ever said life was easy, after all. Tell me about it. But he didn't give up. My, not, my, not my master. He just trained harder than ever. That's the spirit. That's just what I imagine someone with a friend like you would do. But then it happened. Girl, maybe he trained too hard. Maybe I didn't look after him well enough. He went and got himself injured, did he? Is that why he's been out and about lately? I didn't think it was anything serious. I thought he would be fine. 
By the time I noticed, it was too late. So that's what's behind it all, eh? Grr. He lost his confidence. He was so convinced he would make the, the team next time. And then suddenly, it was different. Hey, I bet he's heartbroken. Could it, all the boy? Could well, well be. That would explain why Tengri can can't fly too, eh? Huh, we have to help him. Hey, Mr. Kikendra, sir. Can you take us to your master? Grr, do you think you can fix him? Fools, he's seen all the best doctors, and they couldn't help. What makes you so special? It's nothing a doctor can fix, man. It's his heart. See, it's broken. I mean, we, we just happen to specialize in mending broken hearts. Mr. Genja, sir, you have to trust us. I think we can help the Denny. Girl, fine, but if you hurt him, I'll bury your bones in our back garden. You know our house, don't you? I'll wait for you there. Heh, <laughs> same old story, eh? Well, I su don't suppose there's any harm in Kublai owing us one in this world as well. You're still here, Oliver? Did Genjus give you any clues? You sure did. It's bad news, Myrtle. Denny's hurt. He is. Oh, that's terrible. I had no idea. Wait, did you really talk to Genjus? I know. Uh, I just figured it out. And it's worse than that. I think his heart may be broken too. I have to help him. I, ha I have to mend him. So sorry, Myrtle. You have no idea what I'm talking about, huh? Maybe not, but I believe in you. You used magic to heal me, didn't you? Yes. Hey, Oliver, can I come with you? Danny and I were, were good friends once. And I and when I couldn't go outside, you helped me so much. Maybe I can help you this time. Gee, Myrtle, thank you. That's okay. She's a nice girl, eh? Hey, hey. Of course she is. She's my soulmate. Well, I guess it's time to head over to Denny's house. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!